Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I have some internet uh, connectivity issues. Hi. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Kisho. I have uh, around 14 years of experience into IT. Uh, that is into for uh, both the QA as well as for RPA process. I started my career as a freshman with uh, Accenture Bangalore. There I worked around for uh, three years, and I worked in uh, CSC Chennai. Uh, there I worked around for three and a half years, and after that I worked in CJ Hyderabad around for two and a half years, and currently I'm working as a uh, delivery head for the uh, client called uh, like one of the hospital client uh, located in New Jersey, US, and from last six and a half years I'm working on the client. So that's it about myself, and uh, let me give you the overview of the training program schedule. So, what exactly we are going to cover in this training program, and also uh, uh, what is the benefit and uh, what is the advantage by attending this training program, and uh, how much you can learn by attending this training program. That will basically uh, that I'll show you with the example. See, first uh, we'll start with uh, this training program. I'll start with the uh, uh, introduction part. So, what exactly that? Is it still echoing? Yes, Kisho, bit. Now is it fine or still echoing? It's better now, Kishore. Fine. So uh, uh, that's all about myself, and let me give you the overview of the training program schedule, like uh, what exactly we are going to cover in this training program. First, in this training program, I'll start with the process. So, what is the process, and what are the different types of process we have, and what is the business process, and the basic information about the process. Because I don't want to directly jump into the tool. Because, uh, uh, like, uh, if you die, if I directly explain about the tool, you can understand the tool, but you don't understand like, what exactly happening in the industry and where you need to start implementing RPA. That that stuff you are lacking actually. That is the reason. First, I'll start with the basics, like where exactly the process and the business process and all, and process and what is the business process. Next one is the different types of process. Different types of process we are going to cover. And after completion of these different types of process, the second level of the training is what is RPA and uh, advantages with RPA as well as disadvantages and uh, disadvantages with RPA. And also we'll discuss about the scope of RPA scope and uh, when we are implementing, when we are implementing RPA. So we'll get the clear picture rates, like when exactly we are implementing RPA because many people are having a lot of questions every time, like not only you guys, like uh, usually outside also, what is RPA, when we are implementing RPA. We are comfortable with the tool, but we don't know when exactly we are using this RPA. That is the reason, first we'll start from that level, so it will be easy for you to work with the tool guys. So when we are implementing RPA and what is scope for RPA, and uh, what will be the scope for RPA in the down the line next five years and 10 years, and this part we'll be discussing, and after that, we'll discuss about RPA, methodology rpa methodology rpa methodology what is rpa methodology are nothing but rpa end-to-end -end process to get a clear picture end-to-end -end process means what like who is involving in rpa process and where we are starting and where we are ending and who are involving in the rpa process so this is the basic information which everyone has to update before we are going for any tool so tool anyone can understand so tool is quite simple but this part and all we need to understand before we are moving to the tool. And remember, this information is mandatory before you are learning for any tool, learning any tool, whether you are learning Bluepism or automation anywhere, or UA part, any tool. So next after completion of the Bluepism anyhow, we will start with automation anywhere. At the time, I will not explain all this stuff again. Directly I'll jump into the tool. So clear everyone. So after completion of this uh, process information, now we will start with the Bluepism. Bluepism, I will explain you from. Uh, installation tool, how to install the blue prism tool, how to deploy the bots, how to deploy the process or deploy the bots into production, into the client machine. Up to that level, I'll, be, I'll explain you guys. 
Okay, and uh, and this one it includes complete end-to-end -end process where we are installing and uh, what are the roles we are setting up and blue prism and how we are gathering the gathering the processes and how we are dividing into multiple objects and how we are completing the process how we are testing it and how we are deploying it to the client machine up to that level so this training is not only for developer training so this is completely for end-to-end -end, end -end training that means you can go in as a developer along with this training and also you can go as a uh, manager level or you can go as an administrative level and any level you can able to utilize it because I'm going to cover the complete uh, process from with the implementation of Blue Prism from starting to ending right and it will take completely it will take completely I required completely 28 hours to 30 hours of the training so I'm going to learn 15 hours, 16 hours, 17 hours of the training is sufficient but it is not sufficient for me sir 28 to 30 hours of the training we required to complete the full pledge of blue prism with the robotic process both of these completely so if you complete this training program sir 30 hours of the training program next to automation anywhere we can complete in 20 hours because we doesn't require this much information again in automation anywhere because this so much information is quite common for all the tools so another 20 hours for automation anywhere very diverse, but nowadays in industry we require uh, two tools. We are expecting two tools in the market, right? So that's about the training program schedule. And every day session will be starting at six thirty since the first day uh, due to some issues and we started a bit late. From tomorrow onwards, I'll be starting by nine six thirty max six thirty five. I'll start it and up to seven thirty or seven thirty five. And Monday to Friday we have sessions. And at the end of the training program, after completion of the blue prism and all, at the end of the training, two sessions I'm taking. Uh, Live project explanation, live project complete implementation. So up to these two classes, we are talking about the complete theory and practically I'll show you how to work and how to work this well. But implementation part we'll be discussing in the last two sessions, sir. Live project on insurance clients, on insurance project and planning. And that project you can able to access through online. That you can access in online and you can start working on that project as well. So you can use that project in your resume or you can use it for your practice purpose and everything. So that is the reason I required 28 to 30 hours dedicatedly to complete this training program. So, do you have any questions on the schedule of the training program? Perfect. Now, coming to the first step, I'll start with the process. So what do you mean by process issue? I wrote exactly the process and uh, well, how it is, how it is, how we are going to complete the process. That will see clear in the example. I'm sorry to say, guys, my pen tablet is not working today. That's what I'm using Notepad. Otherwise, my training program is completely on pen tablet. It looks like a whiteboard and writing on the whiteboard. It's like a class two right? I just now I've seen that it is not working. So I'll get the pen tablet for tomorrow. So tomorrow onwards we'll have it in a pen tablet. Like it's, it's like a class. It, it feels that you feel like it's a classroom planning. So just today I just it for notepad. Even this is very new for me to explain in the notepad. But try to understand this concepts. And tomorrow again, if you want, I'll repeat this just for quickly for 10, 15 minutes so that we can continue from the tomorrow session, like tomorrow things and all. Right. First one we'll discuss about the process. So what do you mean by process? What do you mean by process? So forget about the process, forget about the RPA robotic process, etc. Et and also because process is the important technology. Because RPA robotic process, one of the word itself is the process. So what do you mean by process, Kishore? So let me give you one example, one statement. You can tell me whether it is true or false. My statement is for completion of any activity in the world, for completion of any activity in the world, we need to follow some process. Yes or no? Yes. Suppose I'm sitting here. I would like to go to my native place. How can I go to my native place? First, I need to finish my class here, get out from here, catch the cab, go to the airport, catch the flight, and reach my native place. This is the step-by-step -step activities we are following to go to my native place. Yes. Suppose I'm standing, I'm sitting here, I want to have a cup of coffee in coffee shop. So what is the process I need to follow? Again, I need to finish my class, get out from here, and go to the coffee shop. Order the coffee, had a coffee. So to go to my native place, I'm following some process. To have a cup of coffee, I'm following some process. To meet my friend, I'm following some process. In the same way, for completion of every activity or every task in the world, we need to follow some step-by-step -step 
activities. That activities we call it as a process. So what do you mean by process? Process is nothing but a series of actions. Series of actions are activities. Series of actions are activities which we are following, which we are following towards to complete the task. Which we are following towards to complete a task. What is the meaning of this? I gave you a task to complete, one work to complete. To complete the task or to complete that work effectively, we need to follow some step-by-step -step process, step, uh, series of actions or activities. That series of activities or actions that we call it as a process. So this process usually, okay, we can implement. General activities, we are implementing this process. Not only for general activities, we can implement this process for completing the business as well. That process we call it as a business process. What is the business process? We shall give you some examples of business process. This is the first example. For example, if we take the banking business, so many business we have, right? So, first, if we take the banking business, what are the business flows or what are the business process we have in the banking business? First one is the customer registration. Customer registration in case if any customer, if any customer has open the bank account in our, with our bank, open the account with our bank. What is the first process we need to do, sir? We need to register that customer with the bank. That is the one business flow. Yes or no? This is the one customer registration. Next one is if that customer is applying for any loan, loan. So loan approval process, loan approval process. Okay, next one is done. If the customer is applying for any credit card setup, some process we need to follow. Credit card process. Right? Next one. If the customer is applying for any DMAT account, so DMAT account process. So these are all the different different flows we are following, are different different processes we are following to complete the banking business. Yes or no? Not only for banking business issues, like any business, you name it so. Any business, like if you take the example of the second one, insurance issue. Like insurance business, what is that same thing again? Insurance business, what is that same? Customer registration. Next one is the coverage process. Coverage process. Next one is the claims process. If the, if the customer has met with any accident, he has to claim the insurance coverage. What is the procedure they need to follow? He has to report to the insurance company. Explain the problem, take the photographs of the insurance locate, uh, sorry, uh, accident location and send it to the insurance company. Verification team will verify it and they'll approve it and they'll send the coverage amount. Next one is the premium, pay, premium, premium calculation process. Different, different process. This is for what? Insurance business. Not only banking, not only insurance, sir. For every business, if you take the example of the HR, if you take the example of the HR, HR industry, what is the what is the activities, what is the process you need to follow? First one is the employee on board, employee on board. Next one is the payroll generation, every month, payroll generation. Next one is the relieving process. Next one is the relieving process. So in every business, to do every business in the industry, we need to follow some processes sir. these processes we call it as a business processes understand it all? what do you mean by process process is nothing but a series of actions or activities which we are following towards to complete the task right general work or business work anything we are implementing some processor so if you are implementing process to do the client business that process we call it as a business process this business process we are performing in Four different ways. Four different ways we are performing this business process. So, what are the four different ways? You'll give the plan feature what exactly the four different ways we are following. We are implementing this business process and how it is related to the robotic process. We'll get the clear picture why we are going for robotic process now. So, shall we move to the four different ways of business process which we are implementing in a projects? Yes, sir. Four different ways. Any clarification so far? All of you can interrupt me in the middle, like if you have any clarifications and always you can feel free to ask me. Okay, so if you have any doubt or any clarification, you can uh, you can just for after completion of every concept, I have a habit of asking you the question, like do you have any questions or not? 
like feel free to ask me guys there is no point of hiding here everything whatever the doubts what are the clarifications here we can ask me guys now coming to the first one four different processes we are following what is the what are the four different processes to show first one is the first one is the see my requirement is see everyone just 10 minutes will give the clarity what exactly the robotic process are we doing so my requirement is as a ceo of one company suppose i am the ceo for that complaint company called lakme okay lakme is the and the ceo for lakme and lakme is operating their business across 120 countries across the globe lakme is operating lakme is doing some operations of their business in 120 countries across the globe 120 countries which they are having the sales units manufacturing units distribution units so many things like they are doing operations in 120 countries so I am the CEO for LACME, I am the CEO for LACME, my requirement is, my requirement is, every day, end of the day, every day evening, by evening, 5 o'clock, end of the day, I want to know the sales details from every country, consolidated report, I want it. Do you understand what is my requirement? As the CEO of the company, I would like to know the complete sales details from all the 120 countries a consolidated report i'm expecting so how can i get that report how can i get that report first one traditional process traditional process what is a traditional processor traditional process do you remember this uh not tell you days ago do you have any online banking facility or online transactions or online ticket booking etc etc no we don't have any online ticket booking do remember those days if you want to withdraw the amount from the bank account we don't have any ATM machines we need to go to the bank and stand in the queue and that queue the passbook to the cashier cashier will make the entry in the passbook and hand over the cash to us Do remember those days if you want to transfer if you want to hand if you want to deposit some amount in your friend account we need to go to the bank and stand in the queue and deposit the amount and if you want to go to the movie in the first day there is no way to get booking facility at the time we are do you remember those days we are uh, going to the uh, theater in the first day morning, five o'clock or six o'clock, stand in the queue up to ten o'clock and we'll get the tickets. You remember those days? That means what we should in traditional process. That is the first process. In traditional process, we are doing every activity or we are performing the business simply by maintaining the records, simply by maintaining the information in the format of the books. In the format of books only, we are maintaining the records. That is called as the traditional process. So assume that in traditional process, in traditional process, there is a US location, US location. In US, they are maintaining the sales information in the format of the books. Next one is the UK. UK, they are maintaining the sales information in the format of the books. Next one is the Canada. We are maintaining the information in the format of the books. So this is what happened in the traditional process. In traditional process, LACME is doing the business in 120 countries. In every country, they are maintaining the sales details and everything in the format of the books. There is no computer at the time. Old, old days. So what is the requirement for CEO here? I want to get the complete sales information on a daily basis. So is it possible in the traditional process? No. In traditional process, it is not possible. In traditional process, the higher level management used to get the information once in a three months or once in a six months or once in a one year. Sir. That means there is a communication gap. There is no transparency in the client business. And there is a communication gap between the there is a communication gap between the higher level management and lower level management. Sir. That is what happened in the traditional process. This is the first business process which we implemented in industry completely manually every business we are doing manually every information in every business we are maintaining in the format of the books that is what happened in the traditional process right but problem not solved the solution ceo didn't get the solution yet what is solution i want to get the sales details from every country on a daily basis confirm that is not possible with traditional process then how it is possible issue that is possible with the second process that is called as the IT process. But then we, in IT process, what we are doing? In IT process, in every country in the US, we are maintaining the sales details in the format of one computer. 
in computer you can write any in master process what we did we maintain complete information in the format of books but in it process we are maintaining complete information about the business in a computer format in a computer we are maintaining and these computers are operating by the these computers are operating by the these computers are operating by the again okay, some like operators some operators are operating these computers so how many operators we required sir for every country we required one operator so what is happening sir in traditional process whatever the sales is there in the us today that sales information we are writing in the books once in a three months or six months we are sending the information to higher level management but in it process what is happening daily sales details we are maintaining in the format of computers and these computers are operating by the operators fine so what is happening is every day every country every operator they are getting the consolidated information and they are sending the information to ceo so the problem solved ceo is getting the complete sales information on a daily basis yes or no yes ceo got the complete sales information on a daily basis but there is one problem here what is the problem i show for example in uk this operator in uk every day this operator is taking care of this entering data but this operator is on leave today suddenly he is on unplanned vacation so this uk data we cannot able to share to the ceo excellent in some time the canada okay these operators are asking more salaries if you give us more pay then only we can work in that case that will be disturbed and the us because of thanksgiving and uh, saturday sunday we, we have a lot of work but these resources are not willing to work these resources wants to work only eight hours a day monday to friday but we have extra work to do but no one is supporting us and no employees are willing to work at the weekends no employees are willing to work for extra hours in a day no employees are willing to work no employees are uh, restricted on planned leaves and planned vacations so many problems we have with this resources so that is the reason to avoid these problems with these resources another process came into the industry that is called as the robotic process got it everyone because what is the first process in industry traditional process every business we perform in every business we perform in the format of books right so to avoid those problems id process came entire thing we are maintaining in the format of computers but these computers are operating by the humans operators are operating the computers and operators we have a uh, few months which we have many uh, drawbacks what are the drawbacks are they are asking more salaries they are not flexible they are not willing to work for extra hours and the quality is less the quality is less and uh, unplanned leaves are there time more time they are taking so many problems we have that is the reason the robotic process is implemented into the picture what is a robotic process to show same thing in robotic process also same process business process is performing in the format of computers in the format of computers only but these computers are operating by the bots bots what do you mean by bot to show here in the it process computers are operated by who operators but in it process in robotic process who is operating these computers bots what do you mean by bot to show what is nothing what it's a configurable software what is nothing what are robots what are robot if it is a physical device we call it as a robot if it is a software device we call it as a bot so that is artificial technology which we are following in industry so these bots are bots is nothing but it's a configurable software which is working on behalf of the on behalf of the human what human is doing same way this bot is working on behalf of the human the bot is working that is called that is the bot or robot so in it process what happened we are doing the business in the format of computers but these computers are operating by the operators but in robotic process we are doing the business in the computers with the help of with the help of the bots bots so what these bots are doing sir again same thing again same thing see computers we are doing the computers we are doing in computers we are doing in computers and handling by bots handling by bots next one again new canada also doing with the, doing in the computers and handling this information by the bots bots right so what is the advantage with the bots sir bots will not take any so end up today what is happening 
say what operators are doing end of the day they are gathering the information sales information from every country presenting the report to ceo but what bots are doing the bots are doing the same thing sure bots are doing the same thing end of the day bots are gathering the information from every every, every country and sending the information to ceo but what is the advantage here advantage here is what sir bots will not ask more service bots will not take any unplanned leaves and bots will not say that i will not work in the weekends and i'll not work for more than eight hours etc and all and bots doesn't play any politics in the company and bots will not uh, disturb others in work environment and bots will maintain the quality and bots will not waste the time bots will not take lunch break coffee break tea break etc and all so many advantages we have sir whatever the drawbacks we have with the humans here in it process all the drawbacks we can overcome with the help of the robotic process automation got it everybody so why robotic process came into the picture nowadays we have a lot of we are facing a lot of challenges in industry because of the resources we are not getting the skilled resources even though we got the skilled resources we cannot manage them is very difficult task for the companies and uh, some clients some some employees are coming and uh, just taking the cleaning and they are leaving the company they are leaving from the company and some employees are asking more salaries and some employees are taking unplanned leave some employees are not skilled some employees are not coming regularly some employees are uh, disturbing others work so many problems we have to avoid all these problems of robotic process came what humans are doing in the business that complete business flow we are automating with the help of the bots so when you run the bot what will be automatically running and perform the task which initially done by the humans this is about the robotic process but there are some drawbacks with robotic process as well what are the drawbacks we have with robotic process what is the first drawback sir first drawback is bots are not self thinking and self decision making what is the self thinking and self decision making now i am giving instruction to bot to go straight like this when bot is going straightly like this if in case any barrier is there in the middle bot doesn't know what to do simply bot will try bot will hit that barrier but humans are not like that if i am going like this if anything is there in the middle i'll take left or right and i can reach the destination i can think what to do but bots cannot think bots are not self decision making and self responsive second one is bots will not handle the unstructured data unstructured data so exact instruction we need to give to the bot to work if the instructions are changed bot cannot able to work and initial investment for bots developing the bots is bit high these are all the drawbacks with robotic process automation that is the reason to avoid this drawback to robotic process automation well not to scale that is the cognitive process automation But remember, by implementing this robotic process automation, around uh, by 2020, by 2020, we we are getting a lot of changes in industry guys. By 2020, almost almost 20 to 40 percent days of the employees in the 40 percent of the results are going to lose the jobs. By 2020, 40 percent days of the employees in industry are going to lose the jobs because of the robotic process automation. so another one is there that is the cognitive process cognitive process still in the try testing stages it will take it will implement it by 2025 definitely it will come by 2025 sir that is the ending process that is the ending process in the world that is the ending process in the world so what is the cognitive process sir this cognitive or in cognitive process also what is happening in cognitive process also we are maintaining the information in the format of computers And computers are operating by the bots. Both are same only, right? Because robotic process and cognitive process both are same. Then how it is different? Only difference is in robotic process, bots are not self-thinking. Bots are blindly working as per our instructions. But in cognitive process, bots are self-thinking and self-decision making. Example is the self-driven car. Self-driven car. Driver is not required. Just based on the sensors and based on the signals and based on the visibility, and cars will be. Quite so. Self-driving cars is the best example for cognitive process. In this cognitive process, we are developing the bots, and bots are self-thinking and self-decision making. And uh, with the help of the bots, we can complete the process. All the challenges are resolved. All the problems are resolved in the cognitive process. But, but it's not 
quite easy to implement in industry because in India we don't have any problems or if you want to terminate one resource from company, happily we can terminate it. No one will question it. But in other countries and also if you take the Netherlands, Ireland and all, these countries and all, if you want to terminate any resource from the company, you need to give the explanation to the government. So simply companies cannot say we are using bots, we are using robots and that's what we are terminating these resources. That will disturb the complete economy of the uh, country. That will disturb the complete economy of the country. So that is the reason some countries are not accepting this cognitive process and some companies also not accepting this cognitive process. But internally everyone is interested in this cognitive process because at the end of the day companies are not thinking about the employees but this government has to think about the employees. Right? That is the reason some companies and some countries are not willing to implement this because of this progress of cognitive process. But 2025 we are expecting this cognitive process. If this property process has implemented completely, almost 70 percent of the humans are going to lose the jobs. 2025, almost 70 percent of the market, 70 percent of the humans in the world is unemployed or unemployed. Okay, because of the cognitive process, everything will be handling by the bots. Everything will be handling by the bots. Everything will be handling by the bots. That is the reason that that is not easy to implement it uh, practically, sir. But anyhow, but if it is implementing, that is the end of the world. That is, simply, that is the last process which you need to use in the business. So this is the complete overview of different different processes we are following in industry. First one is a traditional process and uh, IT process, uh, robotic process. Because luckily, uh, our generation have seen are going to see. Uh, we have seen already traditional process. I don't know about you guys because I've seen this traditional process. IT process, yes. Robotic process, yes. We are seeing now. And cognitive process, we are expecting in down the line five to ten years. So, all the process, we are working. We work simply, we can say after ten years, I can say I work in all the process. I, I maintain the records in the format of books. I maintain the records in the format of computers. And my records are maintained by the bots in uh, robotic process. And my records are maintained by the bots. and. Uh, uh, analyze the analyze the records and everything in cognitive process. So all the process we work, we are going to work in all the process. So this is about the complete robotic process, not robotic process, complete business processes we are doing in industry from the decades. Clear? Any questions on this? Hello. Yes, please. Uh, didn't get exact uh, the uh, confusion related to CP. Mm -hmm. It is a something I, I didn't understand that word CP exactly. What is that word? Cognitive process. Cognitive process. Compet competitive. Cognitive. Cognitive. C O G N I T I V E. Okay. 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 Right. Right. And how it is different and. In CP also we have same kind of RP then how it is differing yeah there is a lot of differences between robotic process and cognitive process the difference is robotic process we are developing the bot that what is working as for your guidance okay but cognitive process bots are self-thinking oh okay 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 you need not give much instructions. Bots will be machine. There is a machine learning capabilities and self learning capabilities and bots self driven car. What is self driven car? Driver is yes, not auto. required. Right. It's not required. Automatically, if you sit into the car and uh, select the destination, automatically car will drop in the destination. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other questions, everyone? Kishore, this is Sanjay here. I just had one yes, question. Sir. What kind of uh, certifications do we have here? Because when I go for uh, interviews and stuff, people actually check with me. Uh, check with me. Are you uh, certified or not? So as far as yes. group yes. is, is concerned, what kind of uh, certifications do we actually have, Kishore? Yes, Mr. Sanjay. Uh, may I know where you are from? Uh, you are from, I'm from Bangalore. Yeah. I am from Bangalore. From Bangalore right? no problem. See, yep. uh, so anyway, nowadays, uh, especially for this robotic process, certifications are somehow 
is important. But no need to worry. Certifications are very simple to clear here. I'll give you uh, PFSL, PFSL, VUE, Tourism. PFSL, VUE are providing Tourism certification. It's a Tourism certification they are providing. These are all the different Blue Prism certifications we have. This is for entry level Blue Prism developer and Blue Prism professional developer at Boston level. Blue Prism process solutions, ROM architecture, okay, version wide environment, and Blue Prism installation today. These are all the different roles of the certifications we have. So, according to your experience, according to your interest, you can choose any one of the certifications, they can go for the certification. And they are charging $65, around $65 for the certification. But don't need to worry about this certification at this stage now. Okay, once you complete the training program, you can easily clear the certification. Blue Prism developer, this actually a couple of my students has cleared the certification. It is quite easy. You can easily clear it. In India, we are not concentrating much on certifications part, but people who are attending sessions, classes from abroad, US, better you can try the certifications. In US and UK, and Canada market certifications are mandatory, but in India we are not much concentrating on certifications at this stage. Maybe down the line, one month, or two, or six months, or one year, we will also think about the certifications part. But quite easy. certifications are quite easy to write. What do you wish to say? Thanks, sir, Kishor. Thanks, sir. Yeah. So. Coming to the next one, and this is the basic information, guys. And the tool information I told you, right? Okay, normally I've seen many places like directly first day that they're starting with the tool, dragging and dropping, etc. etc. And also, but people are having confusion. You believe it or not, people who completed the training they're coming and asking me, like, uh, you should what is the difference between the blue prism and automation anywhere? And when we are going for this blue prism, and these type of questions are, I don't want to see these type of questions and all. That is the reason we'll go one by one step, one by one thing, we'll go and we'll complete the process. Yes, that will be quite easy. Now, coming to the next one, coming to the next one, this is about the uh, robotic, what is the different business flows and all. Coming to the next one, what is the robotic process automation? What is robotic process automation? Right, what is robotic process automation? And what is the, uh, when we are implementing this robotic process automation? That will see clearly with the example. What is robotic process automation? If you open Google and search for this, what is RPA? You can see hundreds of definitions. Are, but we are not here to judge by the definitions. What exactly the robotic process automation that we'll see. First, we'll see what is R. R is nothing but robotic, R bot. What is a bot? We already discussed. What is nothing but configurable, configurable software. It's a configurable software. Next one is the, what is the process issue? We already discussed again. What is the process? What is the process? A series of, series of, series of actions, series of actions and activities which we are following towards to complete the task, towards to complete, towards to complete task. This is what process. What is the automation? Automation is nothing but, automation is nothing but mimicking the human actions. That is nothing but giving, giving instructions to, giving instructions to, giving instructions to, Okay, giving instructions to what? To complete, to complete process. So, what is the robotic process automation? I told you right, guys. If you search for RPA, we can see many definitions, lot of definitions we can see in the market. But definitions required, but directly don't read the definitions and buy hard the definitions. So first understand the concept of robotic process automation, then we can go for the different definitions. End of the day, every definition output is same sir. But my suggestion is instead of by hearting them directly, first we'll understand what is robotic process automation. So you can easily, easily understand what is that definitions. What is robotic process automation sir? Simple. We are giving instructions to bots. We are giving instructions to bots. What is a bot sir? Robotic. We are giving instructions to bots to complete the business process that is called as the robotic process automation. We are giving instructions to bots 
to complete the process or business process of the client. That is called as the robotic process automation. We are developing a bot. What is nothing but what? It's a software. It's a configurable software. We are automating bot. What you can do one thing. You can open the application. You can do this business process or you can complete the business process. This is called as robotic process automation. And one of the definition I have seen. What is the definition for robotic process automation, sir? Robotic process automation is a software system which contains artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities that will help to handle repeatable tasks and the huge data, huge, huge volume data and repeatable tasks, and which earlier done by the humans. Previously, humans are doing this repeatable tasks and huge data allocation, etc. These things are done. We are handling with the help of the system which contains the artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities that is called as the robotic process automation. Instead of having the tricky and confusing definitions and also first understand what is robotic process automation. Instead of humans are doing the process, business process, we are giving instructions to bots to do the client business or to do the process that is called as the robotic process automation. This robotic process automation where it has come into nature and when we are implementing this robotic process automation that we'll see clearly with the examples of. So you get the clear picture now when we are implementing robotic process automation and uh, what is the purpose of implementing robotic process automation, how it is different from testing and robotic process, testing tools, selenium and the blue prism, how it is different, these things and all you'll get the clarity sir. So shall we proceed with that one? So when we are implementing this robotic process and uh, so, when we are implementing this robotic product, if I hand a pen tablet, that would be great. I can explain it very easily, you can easily understand. And I'll do one thing, I'll explain in tomorrow's session, when we are implementing robotic process automation, and what is scope for RPA, and also we'll see what is scope for RPA, and advantage and disadvantage and RPA methodology. Complete, sir. Tomorrow's session is mandatory before we are moving to the group prism. Once you complete that, then immediately tomorrow itself, I'll start with the Blue Prism, I'll show you how to install the Blue Prism from, from tomorrow, ending of this uh, RP methodology and all, our focus will be completely on Blue Prism and our practicals will be starting. Practicals will be starting and our complete focus will be on the Blue Prism. We can go ahead and Blue Prism. Yes. So any questions are this? Uh, Kishore, uh, this is Srinath. I just have one question, you know, what is the main difference between artificial intelligence and RPA or like, you no know, Internet of Things which are having in market? Yeah, Internet of the Things is completely handling the devices. Handling the devices like uh, without going anywhere, like you can handle your AC or you can handle your TV, everything from your from the outside, through mobile phone or through any device we can handle it. But RPA is completely doing the business process. Simple, sir. I'll explain it very clearly. That's what tomorrow, if you uh, like, uh, I'll give you the clear picture about this RPA, you'll get the like complete clear picture about the robotic process. Anyhow, I'll give you the overview now. Simple, see. Uh, I assume that I, I, you are the yeah I, yeah, I get it. I just have one question like, you know, do you have like, you know, RPA admin also? It's our only like developer because you know, it's a software oh, like, you know, installing we, or something like have, that. We have, we have a developer role and we have an administrative role. Administrator is the, we have a developer role, we have a tester role in RPA, we have a developer role, we have a, we have administrative role, and we have a uh, release manager role. Different roles we have. It's not only development. So based on your experience, you can choose your role and you can you can you can go to you can work on this. But here I'm going to cover you the complete end-to-end -end process which will suits you to work on any role. Whether you are going as an administrator or you are going as a developer, anywhere it will be helpful because I am the person who started initiating our way in our, in our clients. That is the reason I'll explain it from the where we are starting the documentation from management perspective to deployment perspective. In this, SMEs will be coming, administrators are coming, developers are coming, testers are coming, release managers are coming, and end users are coming. Complete information I'll give you. Got it, Mr. Sina? Yeah, thanks. Do you have any questions? Any others? Mr. Prakash, Ravish, 
Sanjay Trinath. No questions. Good. You can actually guys tomorrow you'll get the tomorrow I'll start by 6 30 and you'll get the clear picture tomorrow. Okay, then tomorrow itself I'll show you the blue prism tool also. You'll get the clarity. A lot of openings are there, guys. Like uh, you just utilize it. Okay, and uh, down the line, tomorrow you'll get the clarity. Like uh, how how can you say sure it will be good in the market? You can understand the strategy. Why why there is a lot of openings for RPA down the line next one year or two years and uh, why industry is depending on this RPA that will get the clarity by tomorrow's session when I explained about the scope of the oh, I thought of explaining it but I will ask that pen tablet like actually that is the reason tomorrow we'll discuss about it and I'll explain it clearly. So is there anything else from my end? Hi, all of you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Kishor, I just want to know, like, you know, uh, what is the fee structure? Like, you know, is, is it going to be sell by you or like, you know, tech skills? Uh, oh, going you, can to check with the management. you can check with the management. I'm just taking care of the climbing part. You just check with the management. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you all. See you on tomorrow. 6.30 I'll start it tomorrow.